Hello. Uh, today we're going to talk about getting into the Mannequin's configuration application. The address to that is 192.168.1.1 forward slash config. Um, when you get into that mode, um, you'll note you come to the overview screen. This gives you the Mannequin's name, the model, um, what mode it's in, what software version, its IP address. In this case, we're on a Mac, so it's a Mac address. It's set up as um, an access point, SSID, what channel, the server, all that. So the rest of these tabs, the network setting, um, allows you to set up the mannequin as an access point, which is a single computer hooked up directly to the mannequin. You also have the ability to set up and connect to your local area network, either wired or wireless. Um, right now, the mannequin is set up as a server. Um, when you get your mannequins, initially, they will just be called Ambu Man. Um, this is, at this tab, you can rename your mannequin. Um, I recommend when you rename your mannequin, if you have more than one, go ahead and set up a piece of tape and label your mannequin so you'll know which mannequin is what name. Um, all mine are named Ambu Man, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and that's how I keep track of it. Um, you have the ability to password protect these. You have the ability to encrypt. Um, you have the ability to change channels. And um, if you want, you can even change the IP address where that second dot one can be dot one to dot 228, I believe. Um, any changes you make to the mannequin at this point under any of these settings, you hit save. It will give you a message that we've saved it. So let's change his, this mannequin's name to Ambu Man W Alpha. We're going to hit save. It's going to tell us we've saved it and we're going to have to restart the mannequin to activate that new setting. We, the next tab is the introduction screen. It, in this mannequin, when, when we log in to start, we'll be able to see a controlled session, a viewing mode, and a self-training mode. You have the ability to turn these off and on uh, at will. In, in each of these settings, should you desire, you can password protect any of these things as well. And hit any changes, you're going to hit save. Now, the self-training mode, this is where we can set this mannequin up as a, a self-training um, mannequin with, without the need of an instructor, and we'll make a separate uh, instructional video to show how to do that. Under System, since we changed the name in the network setting, under System, we then have to change the name again uh, so they match. So we'll add Alpha here. Um, in IP speak, um, you have the ability to link several mannequins in series, making one mannequin the primary mannequin, or in IP vernacular, the master, um, and then the other mannequins have to be the same model and the same software version, but they would then be secondary. Um, and the instructor could run the primary mannequin and all the secondary mannequins would then receive the same signal so you could do multiple mannequin training with a single instructor. Again, you can password protect. Since we changed the name, again, we hit the save button. Up here it tells us it's saved. Under the last button, the administration key, when there are updates for software. Um, those software updates will get parked on the AMBU website. So you go to the AMBU website, download that update file, 
um, to your computer, um, log on to the mannequin, browse for that update, and then this button pushes it to the mannequin. Um, this mannequin is in English, but there's multiple language files. Should that be important? Um, and here you have the ability to import data, uh, import and export databases. Um, and here you can reset to factory defaults.